Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I've got a little something different. I've had some people reach out to me about where can they find jobs and I've had a recruiter reach out to me and say, hey, can you get this out there? We got some positions we need to fill. So as a service to you guys, I figured, sure, let's do it. Let's, let's go over some of the job postings and where you can look for jobs so that maybe some of you guys can get hooked up. First off, the recruiter that reached out to me, her name's Lynn Fernandez. Her telephone number is 352-610-9390. And Lynn gave me a list of positions. And I've got several of them in Illinois, New Mexico, Texas. Let's go over the list and see what she's got available. I've got two BMET 2s in Chicago, Illinois. I've got one BMET 2 in Dover's Grove, Illinois. One BMET 2 in Artesia, New Mexico. Uh, let's see, I've got one BMET 2 in Lubbock, Texas. Lubbock, Texas. Guys, I wish I could go to Lubbock, Texas and get away from the traffic of Houston. Would be nice. I've got one BMET manager in El Paso, Texas. And you guys want to be a manager? El Paso. Right on the border, man. I got one BMET 3 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, man, Albuquerque. It's a nice place, man. I wish I could go there. Let's see, where can you guys look for jobs? Now, a lot of people make the mistake and they look in the wrong places. And I wanna help you guys out right now to just stop that, okay? I used to make some of these mistakes too, so that's why I'm gonna bring it up to you. The first stop you should make when you're looking for a biomed job, look at the career center at amy.org. And the actual um, the actual address is jobs amy a a m i dot o r g slash jobs slash or just go to amy dot org a a m i dot o r g and there's going to be a thing called career center and you just go down to uh, job listings and take a look now when i go to amy i don't do a search criteria i just see what they have or search based on the state and just look through all the listings because Amy has a variety of jobs and not just all biomedical jobs. It has some facilities jobs, some scientist jobs, and a bunch of cool stuff. And the reason I say don't just click on biomed is because maybe you're gonna find something else that you wanna look at. Maybe something else to strive for, like a type of position you didn't know existed. So just go into Amy. They're kinda like the mecca, the center of our career center. Just go in there and take a look in their job listings and there's some really interesting stuff now usually if it's not on amy it's going to be on indeed.com indeed is better than monster i don't care what anybody says monster.com often will fail to post or the post will be a week or so late compared to indeed so go to indeed and one of the other cool things about indeed is you can build a profile and you will uh, upload your resume and you can instantly apply for some jobs on Indeed. Now, the reason I say some jobs is because hospitals are a whole separate entity, all right guys? Hospitals like you to build a profile for that hospital, fill out the resume, attach your resume, attach a cover letter, and that's just for one hospital system, for one job, and easily an application at any single hospital, I would say usually takes about an hour. Just got to put in the time, guys. I can remember back when I was looking for a job to get out of the military, I was applying at places all around the United States, and I submitted hundreds of, of resumes and applications, and it takes time. And I got very good at it because of that. But just to remind you guys, Indeed.com, it's going to be a link to the hospital's page where you're going to have to upload your resume. So keep an uploaded resume, guys. Keep one. I, I keep one on um, Google Drive and it's updated, it's constantly updated. And when you apply at a place, make sure that you customize a cover letter, all right? It's gonna be customized according to that facility in that state, that locality. Customize a cover letter. Don't do a generic one, customize it, okay? Not monster.com. The other place that you guys can search for jobs is usajobs.org. Now these are government jobs and they're usually GSA positions but some of you guys that only have, let's say, four years of military duty, or let's say you're a clinical engineer, you got your degree, and you're just looking for a job to get 
get you going. A government job might be where you want to go. USAjobs.org, you're going to search for biomedical equipment support specialist. It's very specific, biomedical equipment support specialist. And the search is it's very annoying for that website, okay? What you're going to have is whatever you type in the search, it's going to have an X next to it at the top of the page. And I've made this mistake many times. I'll search too fine of a criteria, okay? So all I do is I search for medical equipment or biomedical equipment support specialist. And then I search for the state. And if you just want to maybe check out what options are out there, uh, don't put in a state. Just search for biomedical equipment support specialist or biomedical equipment and then click search and just see what's out there. There's some really crazy positions across the United States. And I tell you what, if you're a single person and you are looking to do some moving and maybe explore your options, that is a way to go. You know, if you get a government job, you're very secure. You got the best health coverage and stuff like that, yada, yada. But here's the problem with government jobs. You're kind of latched in when you get there. Trading off a government job for a civilian job is not so easy. And uh, as far as like promotions and stuff, I'll tell you what, in a civilian job, there's very few rules to getting promoted. I could literally go into my, my boss and say, hey, I'm thinking about taking this position at this other hospital. Would you like me to stay? Would you not? Are there any opportunities to get promoted? And usually, if you're a good technician, they're gonna do whatever they can to help you. Maybe give you some extra time off. Maybe they will give you some other incentives. Who knows? You'll never know if you don't ask. But here's the thing. If you're not a good technician and you try and do a bluff and say that you are taking a position at another hospital, I have been there when the bosses say, fine, good luck, more power to you. I hope the, I hope the best for you. Because, you know, oh well, goodbye, you know. So don't, don't ever bluff your boss unless you're really looking to uh, move you guys. If you're an excellent technician, always explore your options. You should be looking at these lists like all the time. Because I'm telling you right now, if you are ready to progress that next level, if you're a Biomed 2 and you've been in the game for like four years and you're ready for the Biomed 3 position mentally and physically, do it. Apply for Biomed 3 positions. And here's the trick. When you apply for a job, go through the headache of everything, okay? And then when you get your letter at your job offer, if you want to, you can use that and you present it to your boss. And you say, hey, the hospital down the street, they're gonna offer me this. And then your boss might actually take that letter and give it to HR and they might match it. I've been matched several times. And I, I don't play this game very often with hospitals because honestly, if I ever tell my boss that I'm leaving, I'm I'm leaving, guys. I'm, I've already done the the work. I've already talked to another hospital. I'm I'm already ready to take that next step. But uh, guys, take a look. Contact Lynn. Her email address is l fernandez two one zero seven three at gmail.com. Just go ahead and send her a message and say, hey. Put me in your books. This is what level I'm at. This is my experience. If you ever have a position that matches me, contact me back. Believe it or not, Lynn has contacted me a couple times and said, hey, would you be interested in this? Would you be interested in that? She's got some good listings sometimes, guys. So look her up, okay? Career Center at amy.org. That's jobs.amy.org slash jobs. Check them out. Amy is the central hub of this career field, one way or the other, whether you like it or not. And... Believe it or not, that's where hospitals go to do their first posting for, for positions. So check out Amy, Indeed.com and USAjobs.org. All right, guys, I think this video is long enough. I am in the process of putting together my saw stop over there. And I got to put in dust collection because I got a new table saw. So... I am going to finish this up. Uh, I've got a table saw that's going to help me out with this guy. And the reason I got a saw stop is because I want to keep my fingers. And saw stop is the saw that sucks the blade down if you accidentally ever touch it. We're biomeds. If you don't have a hand, guess what? You're not much of a biomed. So that's why I got a saw stop. And that way there I can do more cool stuff. You can see all my other tools in here. Because uh, I got to stay busy, guys. 
when I'm not at work, I just gotta unwind a little bit. I like making some cool stuff and learning new things and I'm constantly doing new stuff. You guys have a very good weekend. I am going to finish this project.